Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX and today we're going to play some more Ark Extinction. Let's go ahead and pop into our game and see what happens today. In this one, I think we're going to build up our dinosaur army a little bit more and see if we can go ahead and upgrade our house. So first thing we're going to do is take our trike and use it to collect some berries because we're going to need quite a bit of them for making the berry baits using the immersive taming mod. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, then we'll be taming an Ankylosaurus as they're one of the most useful animals that we have at least in our current area. And then from there, we are going to see about taming some carrying animals. So those would be a parasaur, something with a decent amount of carry weight and a little bit of speed on it as well. So we're going to go ahead and come back to our house and jump all of these things into our inventory over here. This is one of the nice things about Structures Plus is that it allows you to pull things from other inventories. So as our Triceratops is close to us, we can just go into our inventory for the bait station and click on each of the different things that we're going to try and pull in. So the Amar berries, the Azul berries, uh, we should have some Mijo berries in there and then some Tinto berries. We need to pull all of those in, so we're just going to select each of them and pull them. And let's see here, Tinto Barry, there we go. And go ahead and pull those. And now we have all of those inside of our inventory here. So we need to collect some fiber now. And we need to collect some stone and some wood. Uh, sorry, stone and some flint, sorry. And that will allow us to create some more bait bags, berry bait bags. So let's use our hatchet and come over to this rock and get some more stone. And then we will do the same with our pick and get some flint. And hopefully this will be enough for us to make all of the bait bags that we'll need. And uh, then we can go ahead and start taming our Ankylosaurus. Sounds like we have another mediator just coming. Oh, and we're starving. Okay, let's see what we have to eat here. Good. Let's go ahead and eat all those as well. You know what? We should go and use our grill, and we can demonstrate that for you, for you all. And hold on, where have I put that? No, we've not created that yet. Okay, let's show you then about the RP, the Eco's RP decor. Let's see here, we need 25 fiber and 5 wood. So we'll go ahead and collect that. And I use this grill because it preserves the food as well as cooks it at like 5 times speed. So it means if you're cooking up large batches of something or cooking up something that will spoil quickly, such as prime meat or mutton, um, it allows you to cook all of those things without the spoilage that you'd have if you were cooking those things in a campfire. I know I'm going to need some more of these, so we're just going to go ahead and make one of those and head back into our house. There we are. And of course, because our inventory weight is so low, we're a little bit encumbered. So we're going to go ahead and put this down. And this can be placed anywhere. It doesn't have to be put on a foundation. Then we're going to go into structures, and we're going to create this grill here. So we need flint, we need stone, we need some thatch, and we need some wood. I'm going to go ahead and start transferring that stuff over. And what do we need? Ah, we need another tin stone. Let's see if we can pull that. Nope, we need 
another one stone from somewhere. So let's come over here and get some more stone. There we are. Okay, now we can come over here and create that. What have we got? Ankylosaurus. Okay. Transfer our stone into here. Structures. There we go. Now we can create the grill. Requires a bit of metal. I wonder if we can pull in enough here. No, we don't quite have enough. Okay. Uh, let's make one of those as well. Transfer both those over. And we can go ahead and put this into our house now. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And then, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and put our meat into here. And we're going to pull in some wood. Let's say, yeah, let's pull those in. Okay, and then we're going to light the fire. And you can see how quickly this will cook this meat. So we've had 20 right here. And after about, what's that, 7 seconds, 10 seconds? 5 seconds or so, you get a meat. And so, especially in your survival situations or when you're trying to make something that uh, spoils quickly, it's uh, extremely useful. And it also doubles as a preserving bin. Um, actually, it's quite a bit better than the preserving bin. Um, the preserving bin might make, a, say, a dragon milk from scorched earth. It might make the dragon milk last for five hours. If you put the dragon milk into a wyvern milk, sorry, into the grill, it can make it last for almost 10 times that. So it's, uh, some people could claim it's unbalancing, but it, it's, it really makes it a lot nicer, especially for casual gamers who you're not really into the, the grinding and going to have to go and kill the dragons over and over and over again to feed your wivens and that kind of stuff. Um, it just makes it a lot nicer. So, let's go back to making our baits. I'm going to go ahead and switch in our fibre and then we're going to come over and make as much of this as we can. Let's see if we can do this. 20? Uh, 17. We need more stone. Okay, let's just go ahead and make these. It appears that we have a level up, so we're going to go ahead and increase our... Uh, hmm, let's see here. Let's do our stamina. That'll help us to be able to run a little bit longer. We've reached level 20. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the refining forge, the smithy, the metal pick, the metal hatchet, and make sure that we get the S plus ones of each of those stations. Um, we're going to go ahead and also unlock... Mm, let's see here. Bait balloon. No, I think we'll just leave those. We'll store up our stockpiles a little bit, our, our points a little bit. Um, preserving bin. No, we've already got a grill for that. A feeding trough. Let's go ahead and unlock that. We're going to need that. Okay, now we can go ahead and switch our spark powder into our bait station and create as many of those as we can. That'll take us to 10 of those. Let's make another four of our arrows. There we are. And switch both those in. And ah, we need more fiber. Okay. Can't wait till we get to the sickle. That will significantly help. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start taming an Ankylosaurus. So, there was one of them wandering around over here somewhere. Let's see if we can find that. Where did he go? Or she, whichever. I doubt they really care. Hmm. Ah, there we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch our berry bait ammo into our bow and then come over here and see if we can tame this get 
some water first so that we don't die of dehydration. I've kind of picked a little bit of a hot place, I suppose, to settle for the first time. Let's see here. Level 25 female. That'll work. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start attracting this. Here we go. You can't take an eat off of that. Here we go. And we've got a 20% taming already. So, as I said in my last episode, this really makes it a lot easier for taming some things. We're going to go ahead and tame the uh, parasaur at the same time. There we go. Hungry again. Good. And... Oh. Apparently, Parasaur's a bit stuck. Ankylosaurus. Good. We can now hand feed those. Come on, you. Come have some food. No? Okay, let's... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's going after one of them. No, you can't go that way. Come on. <sighs> ah, well. Let's see if we can just come and pick this up. No? No, we can't pick it up. Okay. We'll have, just have to leave it in. Hopefully it'll wander around enough to realise that it can pick those up. Feed them a berry bait bag and pet it. Oh, that'd be a spiky pet. I'm going to wait till it's hungry again. I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. They're used to make uh, fertiliser. Ah, a level 5 parasol. Well, nothing spectacular, but... It'll do for now. <coughs> It'll help us to be able to carry around things a little bit faster, at least. Oh. Go ahead and pet it. And we should be able to care for it in a sec. And that'll tame it up the rest of the way. There we go. We're just going to go ahead and leave it on the default. There you and we've got the Ankylosaur. Okay, so, we're going to take both of these over to our house. And here in a minute, we're going to have to go and kill some things. So we can take the uh, trike and go do that. And we're going to try and get some, uh, get some hide off of it, is what we're looking to get. So that we can make some saddles for the Parasaur and the Ankylosaur. So the Ankylosaur... Uh, let's see here, we can have that stop following... Let me see if we can have this attack the rock. <whistles> Level 37 Ankylosaur. So this is the other nice thing about the Immersive Taming mod, is that it gets you a 100% um, taming effectiveness and also an imprint bonus. So it really allows you to get a little bit more of a powerful dinosaur right off the bat, a wild tame. And that will then allow you to, you know, get the, the higher level tames a little bit faster. Okay, we're gonna get the parasaur saddle since we're gonna need some of those. We're also gonna come and see if we can get there we go. So we've got the trank arrow. I'm going to go ahead and get that as well. Even though I really don't use those now that I've got the Immersive Taming mod, they're always useful for some of the bigger things that are harder to uh, tame. Or if you want to take things down the standard way. Okay, let's come over here. And... See about killing some dinosaurs. We're going to need some food and we're going to need some hide. So we'll. Ah, what have we got here? Ah, we've got a Dilophosaur. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our bullet on this one just because we're not sure exactly 
How dangerous? Ah, it's a level 10. Yeah, it should be a piece of, piece of cake. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get the hide off of that. And let's see if we can go find another one. What have we got? No, that's a plant. Okay. So the other thing that's very useful about the Immersive Taming mod is that when you're taming something like a Pteranodon that you know generally flies off after a little while when you're trying to tame it it uh, seems to keep them more in the general vicinity and so it allows you to tame them a little bit easier it's, it's not as... Uh, you don't have to be chasing them all over the map to try and uh, to try and tame the things. So it just makes it makes things a little uh, a little bit nicer when you're trying to come on. My goodness. What do we need here? More thatch. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna get both those repaired. Okay, so we're going to pause here. I originally recorded this video at an hour long length and then realized that I'd recorded an hour and went, oh dear, no one's going to want to watch this for an hour. So we're going to go ahead and pause here. This is going to be my exit screen and then we'll go ahead and uh, watch the next two videos. We'll be splitting that one hour video into three shorter segments of about 20 minutes apiece. So this is our first exit. G'day ladies and gentlemen and we'll see you in the next video.